Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Golem in 2024. I'm actually ranked 2053 right now with 17 days left on this season. So right here we have the Evil Barbs, Little Prince, Fireball, Lightning, Tombstone, Night Witch, Arrows, and Golem deck with the Cannoneer Tower. Now this deck is my favorite Golem deck I've ever made. I made this deck. I couldn't even possibly find a deck like this in the meta i don't think anybody else would have came up with something like this so this is my golem deck it's pretty sweet that i actually built something on my own and it's been working extremely well for me so we're just gonna hop right into a game of ultimate champion this is actually my very first game on today actually that's a lie i played a couple draft games and war battles but other than that have not played so we got royal ghost first play i've been seeing a lot of royal ghosts okay so poison first that leaves our night witch open for business night witch is open if someone uses poison use your night witch if you have it available we're gonna go golem night witch at the bridge just because of that move move he did there he zaps it i'm gonna fireball this actually we're going to be able to take out the Inferno with the Bats, I believe. Yep. And the Bats are going to be able to take out the Knight. He used Zap. And we got Bats on the tower. Let's go. Let's go. W play right there. Good on me for identifying that he was out of cycle with that poison. I, I really don't understand why he poisoned right there, but it's whatever. We basically won the game and as long as I play defense I should be able to win so if anything bad happens I'll let you guys know but this is already looking like a dub so I'll see you in the next game I'm gonna e-barbs take out that mega knight now we're actually just gonna fireball on all of this as well why not I'm gonna get tombstone there Get Nightwish down. He's already used poison. Easy defense. 30 seconds left. To defend. Let's just cycle the barbs. And we're just going to go defensive golem. Golem's going to be able to defend for the rest of this time that we have here. Let's get a tombstone. Let's get a fireball down. Easy money. Easy money. Let's go. We got a tower to a tower troop chest. Let's open it and see what we get. Still the princess. Alright, what does that make our rank right now? 1,701. Awesome. What a game. Alright guys, we are hopping in to the second game. The first game was extremely easy, just based off the fact that they used poison and zap really early on, and I took advantage of it with the Night Witch Golem push at the bridge. Tombstone, first place. First play. This is definitely Graveyard. Graveyard is probably one of my worst matchups. Yep. Alright, so you know, they did the same thing. The thing about this is you definitely have a harder cycle to deal with in this situation, but still got to take advantage of them using the poison early on. And it's actually going to be really good because we're probably going to get our fireball around the time he's going to place tombstone. Yep. And we're going to fireball that. And golem should be able to get to the tower. Now this is the part where I kind of get worried. But sometimes the defense can be really good with just the barbs. Evil barbs especially since they get raged up. Now, Baby Dragon might connect, but let's just get the... Nice, the Baby Dragon actually connects to the Evil Barbs. 
he's uh putting up a poison which is probably a good move on his part but we have 30 seconds left until double elixir is up now i do want to still keep my night witch out of cycle of his poison so he doesn't get too much value although he did get a lot of pretty good value right there with the evil barbs and the little prince but i'm not too concerned about that what i need to be doing is creating pressure and taking advantage of his poison being out of cycle maybe forcing him to use his poison when he might not want to i'm gonna fireball the ice wizard and i'm actually gonna arrow this graveyard right here i mean tombstone it's a little risky but i have the little prince and the the barbs for the graveyard even though the baby dragon is still gonna get some hits on the tower um, I think this is probably one of my hardest matchups. It really does come uh, down to these last moments here. I'm going to place Tombstone. I'm going to place Little Prince. Even though there's a poison, we are st still going to be placing the Tombstone. Yeah, this defense is absolutely... This is definitely one of my worst matchups with this deck. I have been able to beat this matchup in the past, but right now, as you can see, we are short. I'm going to Low Prince ability, and let's see if we can get a Lightning down on this Baby D. If I waited, I probably could have got that Tombstone. I feel like I just needed to do something there. At this point, I think... Spell cycle is the only thing that I could really do in this situation. But at the end of the day, he's just got a better cycle. I'm going to keep that in for you guys because why not? It's an L. Doesn't really matter. You can lose one. It's not the end of the world that I lose to a hard counter. And honestly, with those situations, I probably shouldn't have been going golem uh pretty early even though i knew i would have the night witch out of cycle it wasn't like last game where i could really take advantage of it because this guy well the last opponent was able to cycle really fast that's just what's really annoying about graveyard it does need a nerf it really does need a nerf now let, let me know what you guys think if you guys think it needs a nerf he fireballs my barbs now this is potentially graveyard since he did use fireball we are going to go with golem we got the uh inferno dragon but we got the bats going in front to tank for that let's see i'm actually going to get a lightning down here wow should have waited that's horrible that's horrible guys that's actually horrendous oh god okay can you focus on that inferno let's go please and thank you all right bro's got giant graveyard with fireball absolutely horrendous <laughs> this guy is a straight up menace for doing that now is witch inferno graveyard fireball this is gonna be fun okay i think this is a better matchup for me but also i'm scared because i just lost to graveyard and i'm doing what i did last game but it's a little di it's a little different it's a little different i'm gonna fireball this actually i want the golem to get to the tower we're still going to be able, the night night witch bat should be able to take out the inferno and the witch is on the opposite lane we got to respond to the witch i forget about that i'm going to wait for the other skellies to spawn before arrowing now we should be fine right here i'm actually going to lightning this bowler because we are in spell cycle range I'm going to actually get that down, and this is not good, guys. 
Oh. Okay. Can we get can we get the fireball? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Perfect defense. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Deep breaths. That was insane. Jesus. Wow, what a game. What a game. That brings us uh, to 1,687. Let's go. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know if you guys have any questions about Golem and how to play it. I will try and answer it my best. And yeah, hope you guys have a good day.